pink pens for a very pink movie. This is my Barbie dream house spread. I sketched it out with pencil and I used quotes from the movie. I loved the movie. Have you seen it yet? I am going to show you how I'll be coloring in this page. So first I had to swatch out all of my pink pens. I was trying to find just the right pink. I just wanted a lot of different pinks. And then I'm going in with my Sakura Micron pen. This pen is waterproof. So I laid down the quotes first. That way I could erase all of the pencil and then I could use my pink pens on top. And as long as it's totally dry, the pens are not going to smudge this ink because it's waterproof, it will stay there. I usually do my lettering on top of the color, but for this one, I just wanted to get the quotes in first and then choose the colors. And my house, I went off of the one in the movie, but it's not exactly like the one in the movie. It just kind of has the rooms that look like it. And the bed that has like the shell background on the top and then the chimney with all the different pink rocks. And of course, had to have the slide in there. Okay. Have you seen this movie? If you have, let's talk about it in the comments because my sister hasn't seen it yet and I am dying to talk about it with someone. I absolutely loved this movie. I loved playing with Barbies growing up, so I thought it was going to be fun, nostalgic. I was going to love that part of the movie and I did. It definitely had that, but I was not expecting to cry so much, to laugh. I just, oh, they did such a good job with it. I don't know how they made it so good where I felt like the anger that I feel at the patriarchy, but also in the end, it didn't leave me with that anger. It left me with, I love being alive. I love the people that I am with, that I get to live with every day. I love this life. I want to be alive. I want to live my life. And I was really surprised about that because it brought up so much about how society treats women. And it definitely brought to light things that I have felt and it put into words things that I'm like, yes, that is exactly what I feel. So if you have not seen it yet, it is so funny. It is so good. It is so empowering to women. And it is just really honest about the pressures that women feel in our society. But it ends on a positive note where I just felt, like I said, just excited to be alive and love the people in my life. It's also so funny. Ken is my favorite. And I think my favorite scene was the when all of the Kens fight. I don't know why it just made me laugh so hard. There are so many parts of the movie that just made me laugh so hard. And then at the same time, it was so real to things that I feel and also made me cry. So it kind of has it all. If you've seen it, I'd love to hear what your thoughts were. Did you love it? What was your favorite part? Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about what I'm coloring here. So this, I'm doing the bed. It was kind of that mauve pink color. And the quote that I wrote is, it is literally impossible to be a woman. That's something that Barbie said, but we'll get more into quotes like that. And next I'm doing the slide, of course, because that is such a fun part of Barbie houses in general, but especially in the movie. And I wrote, Ken is me, because that was something that cracked me up in the movie. Basically, all of the stuff that Ken said was so funny. And then I did the little flamingo that was by her pool. And then this next one, I lettered, I'm just so tired of watching myself and every single other woman tie herself into knots so that people will like us. And then this one is also from that same monologue. We have to always be extraordinary, but somehow we're always doing it wrong. I just love that whole thing that America Ferreira said. It was beautiful. And then this one, maybe all the things you thought made you you aren't really you. That was something that Barbie says to Ken in the end. And then this one is what Barbie says. I want to be part of the people that make meaning, not the thing that is made. And it was her not wanting to be the Barbie. But what I loved about it is that I too want to make something for my life. I don't want to just passively be living. And then of course I had to have Ken's Mojo Dojo Casa House. That was so funny. Ken is hilarious. I loved his thing with horses. And then this one is the I am Ken Nuff, his sweatshirt at the end. I was trying to do the tie-dye that he had and it didn't really work out 
well. And also I was rushing the whole house. I was rushing because I was doing it during my baby's nap time. And overall, I like how it turned out, but I would have changed a few things if I had been able to spend a little more time thinking it over and choosing my colors. I just kind of went for it and I finished it off with writing Barbie on her bed right here. So that's the thing. The stage of my life right now, I don't have a lot of time to spend on things and I just wanted to show you that it's okay. You can make things even if it's not the most perfect thing you've ever made, but keep making with whatever stage of life you have right now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.